Okay, I just have a think. I wanted to do a video. This won't be the, the this video will be a little bit all over the place, but because uh, I'm in the middle of working. But I wanted to document something. I've been meaning to make this uh, video for a couple of days now. So as you can see, I'm over here, and I'm I'm over here working on my buddy's truck. We saved this from going to the scrapyard for a couple hundred dollars. And uh, I told him as a favor I would go through it. So here's the story. And what I want to discuss is a, I don't know if I want to call it a design flaw. I don't think that would be fair. But it's, a, it's an issue with the design of the 22RE that it pays to be aware of. Okay. And as a matter of fact, if you go to Wikipedia, where they discuss the 22RE, they actually make a mention of this, but it's very, it's just one line that's very easy to overlook. I'll put the link in the description of the video, you can go check it out. And it discusses an issue whereby a loose timing chain can puncture a, a hole in the front timing chain cover which can introduce water into the oiling system. So the story on this particular truck, and this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a 1994 uh, Toyota pickup with a 22 RE. And as you can see, I'm, I'm in the process of, of working and cleaning things up. Um, so we're putting on a dual row timing chain uh, upgrade kit from LC Engineering and as you can see I've already pulled off the uh, original timing chain now in this particular case the reason this truck was going to the junkyard was because there was uh, kind of the milkshakey oil situation going on where you know you check your oil and you've got a frothy milkshake and so the, the individual who, who owned this truck uh, prior to my, my buddy picking it up, uh, he thought that the head gasket and or the block had, had cracked or failed. Uh, I happened to get word of it around town. Uh, a buddy of mine had been wanting to buy had been wanting to buy my truck, but I was like, hey man, I did I already did the four-wheel disc brake upgrade. So I don't think I can ever part with my truck, but I'll keep an eye out. And so <laughs> one day I got a call from a neighbor and she said, Hey, our gardener is getting rid of this pickup truck. I think it's the same one you have. Uh, he said he's selling it to the junkyard for a couple bucks. But I thought maybe you might be interested if you give him the same amount of money. So I called my buddy, the one who owns the truck now. I said, hey, I might have a line on a truck for, you know, less than 500 bucks. Are you in? We got to do this within the next few hours. And, I, and he said, yeah. So I said, okay, well, meet me over at the guy's house. Let me do a compression check, take a quick look, see what, what the story is. Now, the body's rusted a little bit, but the running gear and the frame is pretty solid from what I could see. I did a quick compression check and, and a few things, and sure enough, the oil was froth city. Um, but the compression check came out clean across the board, so we figured, well, it's either a blown head gasket on the water passage somewhere, you know, up under the head, the block is cracked, but, you know, maybe we can throw a new motor in it. Anyways, to make a long story short, got it home, and I started researching and I re remember reading about this timing chain cover thing and I was and I was thinking you know what maybe maybe the timing chain got so loose that it slapped into the cover and dug a hole like what I've read about online now I had never seen it firsthand but this is what I wanted to show in this video because reading about it online is one thing uh, seeing it is another. Now, when I pulled the valve cover off, the timing chain was as loose as I've ever seen. It barely was clinging onto the 
front sprocket of the cam. As you can see, the guides were history. The left hand side, or I guess the right hand side, but in your video, the left hand side there above that water passage, it didn't even have the upper piece. The other piece had completely separated and the back had broken off and fallen down into towards the oil pan. I'm, I, I still may have to fish around in the oil pan to see if some of the guides down there. The other thing to note that's interesting is look how far in the chain had worn on the tensioner. So the tensioner was at, at the absolute limit doing everything it could but it, it had basically uh, the chain had basically dug dug into where the tensioner was no longer able to uh, supply any tension. So then as we were kind of you know trying to figure out where, what, what have we got on our hands I said okay well get the LC engineering dual row timing chain cover kit just in case that is what it turns out to be and then bring it over to my place and let me start pulling things apart and see where we're at. Um, and so sure enough when when it when the truck got over here if you look right in here when we pulled the the water pump off we saw a little dribble of sealant here which turned out to be the head gasket sealer that we had dumped in when we first got the truck and and when we got the truck fired up and rolling we literally made it about five blocks and the truck just died pulling into auto zone parking lot i dumped the oil put fresh oil in and like i say it was it was milkshake city got it over to his house but then that milkshake thing started coming back and so i i advised him to change the oil very you know regularly anytime he drove the truck and then all of a sudden he said hey you know what i changed the oil a few times and it's no longer coming back with that milkshake stuff i said that's kind of weird that it would just seal up you know we had all kinds of hypotheses about well maybe this happened maybe that happened what what happened what turned out to happen was and I'll, I'll show this here from the other side so you can see but what what turned out happening was a little bit of the oil dribbled in to where the water pump is and it coagulated on the inside and blocked off the little tiny hole now this area here obviously is under high pressure because you have your water pump spinning <clears throat> but if you look at the back side of this oil pump uh, excuse me of this timing cover you can kind of see if you look closely look where the chain has cut in and dug a trench by virtue of being so loose and floppy in there that as it's coming up and around it it kind of gets out and has to rub against the timing chain cover which obviously is aluminum and here's what happens it it, it eventually creates a little tiny hole where the material is thin and you can see I'll put this little needle in and then we'll flip it over but when it digs far enough in it it, it bridges over a little dinky hole right there and the hole is very very tiny you, you can almost not even see it with the naked eye especially if there's oxidation but you can see it goes through and it's right where the the impeller of the water pump is and because this area is under fairly high water pressure it's enough to create a little tiny jet of water spewing into the oil system and that constant little stream of water will manifest itself as the coolant level going down as you drive it will it will also produce frothy milky oil which can be seen you know not so much when you check your oil from the dipstick but if you pull the um, the oil cap off the uh, off the valve cover you'll see like a weird milky white substance up under there and that's an indication that that water is getting into the oiling system however because the oil system of your motor is under higher pressure than the water system, there's, there's only basically one area where water can, can push into the oil system as opposed to 
the high pressure of the oil system pushing into the cooling system and that's right here where you have oil that's not under pressure gaining access to the oil pan if the if the failure were in the head gasket uh, passage for the oil uh, system that that passageway is under very high pressure so the water can't shoot in against the oil you know what I mean the oil shoots out and gets into the cooling system so kind of depending on whether you have oil going into the coolant or coolant going into the oil can kind of give you an indication as to where the problem or the issue may lie and here like I say is that little hole that develops if your timing chain starts to get loose or your tensioners break or you just push your timing chain tensioner to its outer limit and you can see there's a there's a, a limiter there to keep it from flopping out when you work on the motor <clears throat> so that that kind of I hope gives you kind of a first-hand glimpse at, at that bizarre little kind of thing that can happen on the 22 RE so you know if you ever run across a motor where it's got water in the in the in the oil may not be that the block is cracked may not be that the head gasket is blown might just be that no one ever changed the no one ever changed the uh, timing chain and on these little single row guys they're not very robust and after a couple hundred thousand miles they start slapping and cutting into the aluminum so I, I just thought I would document that while I had everything open here all right gonna get back to work on my buddy's truck here I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's been kind of educational uh, if you have any questions or anything as always feel free to use the comment section below and thanks very much for watching